How's everyone doing today? Thank you so much for stopping by AJT Cards again. If this is your first time checking out my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy Monday. If this is Monday that you're watching this, if it's some other random day of the week, happy whatever day of the week it is. Uh, regardless, I truly hope you're all doing well. Hope that you're having a great week so far, and hopefully this can be a little bit of enjoyment and entertainment for you. Today's video is going to be focused on what is known as the Collectible Card Club. I have seen other YouTubers that have done this before, and I've really wanted to give it a shot. They seem like they've got great products, great selection, great variety. This is not a sponsored video by them. This is just me checking out something that I thought would interest me. They are repacks. There are, we'll open it up and check it out to show you, but it's not necessarily, it's not just one product. There's hobby packs in here, possibly some retail packs. So there's a variety. This is going to be a basketball one that we're opening today. But I do encourage, and I will drop their information in the link in the description below, to check out their website. Take a look at it. This is my first time doing it, so I'm not necessarily saying that I am going to be doing this forever, but I want to see what it's like. And if it's a if it's a good product for me, then it might be something I do on a monthly basis. But they have different options. They have modern packs. They have vintage packs. And you can do a combination of both as well, too. And they offer varieties of sports. They have baseball, football, basketball, and hockey. And their pricing points are really is what got me interested in it. They have very reasonably priced options, especially for basketball cards. It's very hard to get your hands on anything right now. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting into this. I do start off every one of these videos that I'm, well, I should say I'm going to start off every one of those, these videos that I'm doing by saying I, I don't have any expectations for this. When I say that, I'm not expecting to pull anything huge out of this. Not that there couldn't be, but I don't like to set the ceiling so high that I'm disappointed. I want to just open these and have fun because that's the reason I'm doing this is to have some fun. So hopefully you all will feel the same way. I'm not upset if I don't get any big hits out of here. I just enjoy opening packs and showing and showcasing different products that are out there. So we're going to get right into it. I do like you can kind of you don't have to rip it. You can kind of preserve the sticker there. It's a collectible card club. That's pretty nice. And then when we open it up here, we've got it's actually a really nice box that they have. Nice design. So they've got this little insert here just to let you know what's in this. It's July, and this is the month that your box will be exploding with hits. Let's hope so. Um, they've got a little blurb down at the bottom there. I'll let you all take a read at that. It's very nice, though. I, they seem like a great company from the, the little bit of research that I've done. They, they seem like they're excited for their purchasers or people that are buying the product and, and want them to do well. So let's take a look at what we've got in here. And I'm going to move these little foam peanuts to the side so that way I'm not... Mixing them all up. I'm just going to pull them out here. Very nice packaging. I really do like the box on here. I think that it's it's a nice design that they have. I'm just going to set that back there. Hopefully that'll stay. Possibly. All right. That'll stay for now. So we've got different packs here. And I did the 15 pack option. There are different pack options. You don't have to have as many. You can go more or less. Not, not more. You can go less on that. But let's just real quick. So we've got... Status Basketball 2017-2018. And again, these are going to be very new to me. I have not opened many cards to begin with, but especially basketball cards. So these are all very new. Prestige 2017-2018. Press Pass 2002. See, this is what I mean. This is really interesting. I would never have been able to open these before, or I've never opened these before, and I don't think I would ever have the option to until right now. Panini Contenders Draft Picks 2015. Panini Contenders Draft Picks 2016. Oops. NBA Hoops 2017-2018. Another cool little one. Past and present hobby pack, and it does say hobby on there. Another press pass, 2008. Don Russ, 2017-2018. And NBA Hoops. I don't know the year. 2012, maybe? I'm not great at picking up on the years. It might be 2012 or 2011, 2012. Prestige 2016. Another Contenders 2016. The Black Mamba, the GOAT. One of the GOATs, I should say. Rest in peace. Kobe Bryant there on the cover of the NBA Hoops 2011-2012 pack. Another Contenders Draft Picks 2015. And we'll round it off with NBA Hoops 2014-2015. So, as I said, variety. The variety is there. I'm super excited to get into this. Let's, uh, let's go with these press-proof ones. I'm not going to do them in any specific order, so... Hopefully that doesn't bother anybody too much, but press proof. Press pass. I'm I'm thinking of uh, <laughs> different cards right now, so some of these might be hard to open, but don't want to damage anything here, so let's take a look. So we've already got a coach card here. We've got Jim Beheim. 
The cards are stuck together a little bit. They are a little bit older. Juan Dixon. Darius Songalia. I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce that name. And Jerry Welsh. Jump right next. You know, I'm going to do the other one of those. Nothing against those packs. I just, <laughs> I didn't know many of the players out of there, so I'm going to gonna hope that maybe I know one out of here <laughs> besides Bayheim. I did know Bayheim there. Name's kind of hard to read there. We've got Jerry Bayless, of course. I do know Jerry Bayless, of course. A little stuck together there. Oh, this is a cool looking card. Kevin Love Power Pick. Got the foil design there. That's sharp. I like that. Not numbered to my knowledge or anything, but that is a nice looking card. I'm going to set that one to the side. Oh, nice. They do have a Candace Parker card here. Press Again, this is Press Pass 2008. That's very nice. Love her. And Robin Lopez, one of the Lopez twins there. All right, so that was fun. Again, I don't know what the hit odds or what you're looking out for when in those specific types of packs, but that was still pretty fun. So we're going to go in Panini Contenders 2016 draft picks. Let's see what we get out of this box, or this pack. I see a Kyrie card on the back there. All right, and I'm learning more and more about these contenders, especially with the NFL, too. I'm trying to learn a little bit more. We've got a Rajon Rondo. Love him, of course, as a Celtic, so let's go my PC. Hassan Whiteside, season ticket. Trey Burke. Game day, Steven Zimmerman. I'm doing a bad job showing the cards, and I'm sorry. Deontay Davis, class reunion. Oh, this is nice because as a Celtics fan, you know, I love these. <laughs> I love anything that's going to have a former Celtic or a current Celtic on it. We've got Jalen Brown and Tyrone Wallace on there. Let's flip that over. That's a nice looking card. Definitely going into my PC because of Jalen Brown being on there. So I'll set that one to the side as well. Brandon Ingram School Colors. I like these card designs. I've never opened the Contenders basketball ones, but I do like the card designs. And we've got Kyrie Irving Old School Colors. A former Celtic. I won't put him in my PC, but <laughs> I do uh, appreciate what he did when he was with the Celtics for when he was there, but not a PC item for me there. Let's go into a 2015 Panini Contenders Draft Picks pack. All right, we've got Roy Hibbert. Oh, I'm loving this right now. I, I really am. I've got Kemba Walker season ticket. I don't mind if they're base cards or not. I'm happy to be getting players that I... And I'm a UConn fan for collegiate sports. So this is awesome. This is great. I love this. I'm getting some great... Excuse me. Getting some great personal hits here. Oh, we've got a backwards card here. JP Tokoto. Let me turn that over slowly. Oh, okay. We've got a college ticket, JP Tokoto. I'm probably butchering that name, and I apologize, and I'm sorry, but that's a hit. So we will absolutely take that. And I apologize again to anybody that does know who he is that I am just uh, doing a very poor job pronouncing the name. And if anyone doesn't, then thank you for making me not feel bad. <laughs> but that's a nice-looking signature, too. That's that's nice. So that, that is a hit there. We're going to set that one aside in a hit pile there. We'll take it. Oliver Hamlin, School Colors. Nicely designed card as well. Michael Frazier, the second, School Colors. Dwayne Wade, Old School Colors card. Very cool. Very, very cool. This time with Marquette. That's nice. And then also Chris Paul, Old School Colors, Wake Forest card. So that was a fun pack from a personal hit side as well as that, uh, that hit there, the autograph. We're going to jump right into Status Basketball 2017-2018. Never know what you're going to get out of these. I've opened them once before, I want to say. Steven Adams. Here's the card design just so you give you an idea. We've got Steven Adams. Jeff Teague. Clay Thompson, one of the Splash Brothers there. Rookie Credentials, Frank Jackson. Nice looking card. Oh, and we've got a numbered card here. So to me, I will be counting this as a hit. This is a 166 out of 199 Zach Levine. Not a bad looking card. I do like it. These card designs are, are newer for me in terms of I haven't opened you know these packs to begin with many of them, but this is definitely a different type of design. So we've got the Zach Levine. That's a nice looking card as well, too. We're going to set that one to the side. And then we've got a rookie Markel Fultz. 
you know, as I as I'm a Celtics fan, I had a feeling that the Celtics might be going after him, you know, when they were drafting him, or excuse me, when they were going through the draft process. But to my surprise, it worked out even better with, I don't even think I need to say his name, but Jason Tatum there. So I'm happy with that. And I'm going to just put this in my rookies pile, but that could be a good card. I'm not, I'm not upset with that. Very nice. And last one from the left side here. We're going to finish it off with Prestige 2017-2018. This is the beauty. I mean, we've gone through four or five different packs, all different variety. I'm seeing different card designs that I've never got to see before. It's a lot of fun opening these. I mean, again, I have no expectations and just it's enjoyable. Don't go into it with any expectations and you can't get disappointed, you know? Uh, the, one, of the, one of the best players to play the game in his position, of course, Dirk Nowitzki. Chandler Parsons. Oh, we've got a backwards card. I don't know if this is him. Okay, so this is going to be the Crystal J. Crowder, and I am a J. Crowder fan. Not a fan of him in that uniform, but I am a fan of him for his time when he was with the Celtics. Kyle Lowry, Hardcut Heroes. Steven Adams. And a rookie card here. Frank Nilekina. Put that in there. Fun to watch. He has uh, a lot of. He has a lot of force when he plays. I honestly do enjoy watching him. Again, as I've said before, living in New York, I do get all of the New Jersey Nets, or excuse me, Brooklyn Nets and New York Knicks games. And he plays hard. He reminded me a lot of a, a different type, but like a Marcus Smart type player. He just plays hard. He, you can't be upset with that at any point. So, nice pack there. Not too bad. Go to the middle one here. We're going to finish or start this one off with NBA Hoops. This is a hobby pack, as you can see. I'm already seeing a Celtic there when I open that up. Not in the Celtics jersey, but, you know, a current Celtic, Gordon Hayward. All right, we've got a coach card. NBA Hoops, Mike Brown. Josh Smith. Doc. This PC hit, or this PC collection is, is building greatly right now. Wish he were still the Celtics coach, but I'm very happy with Brad Stevens at the same time, too. So I love Brad Stevens. I love Doc Rivers for what he did during their championship time there, especially. So I'm very happy, very happy with him. Tobias Harris, another guy that I love watching play. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Oh, we got an up. You know what? This is, I wow, I did not expect to get a hit there. That was unexpected. We've got an Amon Shumpert autograph here. Wow. And I was not expecting that. I'm still so used to expecting cards to be flipped over or, um, you know, turned upside down. I was not expecting that. So an Amon Shumper autograph. That's a sweet autograph, too. Look at that. Really nice. It's a, I've actually got a funny story about this. I, I won a New York Knicks jersey off of NBA.com at one point, and it's an autographed jersey of Amon Shumpert. So it's a little bit of an Amon Shumpert collection I've got going on now. So that, that was awesome. Unexpected, but awesome. And Gordon Hayward and Richard Lewis. Man, we are doing really, really well with these packs right now. I have to say that that was unexpected, and I'm very happy with that. Making a little bit of a mess here. I've got part of the cardboard box going all over. Sorry, our next pack is the Don Russ 2017-2018. Got some rated rookie here in the beginning. Steven Adams. John Collins rated rookie card. Terrence Ross, All-Stars Paul George, Bobby Portis, Hassan Whiteside, Nikola Jocic, and Rajon Rondo in a Bulls jersey. <laughs> Very weird. And Chris Paul. Yeah, the Jokic card, I actually, I do, I like watching him play. I'm, I'm just going to highlight his card for a second, the Jokic card. I really do like Jokic a lot. He is fun. He is uh, good for the league, I feel like. And he's just enjoyable all around. Funny guy off the court from what I see other players say. So he's he's good for the league. And he's also part of a team, as I would mentioned in one of my other videos, he's part of a team that has a, you know, kind of reinvigorating a winning culture. So Jokic is, is fun to watch. I'll have to go through these cards and a little bit learn a little bit more about them because I don't know too much about the NBA Hoops cards because I, I have not, not opened them before. This is a fun one here. We've got a past and present basketball hobby pack. Never opened this before. Don't know what this is. I don't feel like I've seen other people open this either, so this will be interesting for me.
Uh, Thompson, Celtics. I was just going to say, I, I, this Celtics hit is great. Hakeem Olajuwon. That's nice. It's a nice little die cut there. Nando DiColo. Also a former Celtic. Al Jefferson. And Byron Scott. Those are cool. I don't know what I was looking for out of there necessarily, but that was that was a cool little opening. Another NBA Hoops Pack, 2017-2018. Carefully there. Another Dirk card. Spates. Patrick McCaw. Oh, wow. I, you know, as I've said, this is a career tribute Kobe Bryant card. And I... It doesn't matter to me if it's a the base type card, whatever it is. Anything Kobe, I'm a huge, huge Kobe fan. So I, I'm just I'm happy to get anything with Kobe's picture on it, a card of his. It is um he's gone far too soon. Him and his daughter, a horrific story, obviously. But this was uh, this is a special one. I've my very first ever Kobe Bryant card, even from when I was a kid. This is a nice one to have, and it's a career tribute card. And again, regardless of, I don't care if it's a base card or what it is, this is this one actually you know, is pretty special to me. So I, I really do like that. All right, we've got a rookie Frank Jackson. A highlights, NBA Hoops highlights Deion Waiters. DeAndre Jordan and Bobby Portis. So one of my big wins from that pack, obviously, was that Kobe Bryant tribute card. Going right into the 2014-2015 NBA Hoops pack. We're flying through these. I'm trying to keep this video not too long. So, like I said, I'll have to go through at the end and really take the time and, and look at all of these again because I want to want to educate myself more on that. All right, so we've got a Will Bynum. Oh, we've got a turned around card here. Alan Crabb, another autograph. This is our third autograph today, and i got to be completely honest with you, I did not expect it. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going for, but this is a sharp-looking card as well, too. This is NBA Hoops Hot Signature, Alan Crabb. Interesting signature. I like it. It's simple, but very, very nice. This is great. That is now our third autograph of the day. We will take it. And we're following that right up with another hit for the PC, Marcus Smart. Can't be mad at that. Come on. That's beautiful. Got our rookie card here, Nick Johnson. Upside down, sorry. Oh, really nice. We've got an NBA Hoops Aaron Gordon rookie card. That's sharp looking. I'm saying sharp again, and you know I mean it. <laughs> I like that. Spencer Hawes. Not sure what this design, oops, I'm not sure what this design is here. But Spencer Hawes. You know, they... Another former Celtic, Brandon Bass. Thank you so much for the, another PC hit. Tristan Thompson, Tony Parker, Shelvin Mack, Gorgie Dang, and Hollis Thompson. Well, I gotta say, this is going pretty well for me. I am very, very pleasantly surprised. So we're gonna go right into Panini Contenders 2015 draft picks. This has been so much fun. I hope you guys are enjoying yourself too, seeing the uh, different types of packs that are out there and seeing what this, you know, this repack type box can offer. There's a, obviously it seems like there's quite a bit here and how it's been turning out for me. I'm really enjoying this. All right. We've got a season ticket, Drew Holiday, Joe Johnson, Kyle Corver. Not sure. This is another two-player card here. Aaron Harrison and Andrew Harrison. So, Collegiate Connections card. Bobby Portis. We just pulled him in the other packs. We've got another School Colors Bobby Portis. Willie Cauley-Stein, School Colors. That's a nice-looking card. Hassan Whiteside, Old School Colors. And Damian Lillard, Old School Colors. Starting to get used to the uh, contender style there. I'm, I'm understanding a little bit more. So, we've got a 2011-2012 NBA Hoops Pack. I still struggle to open these. I don't know. I just try to be careful with them, but I, I still struggle. So, all right. Let's get right into this. Monte Ellis. Enjoyed watching him growing up. Ronnie Brewer. Danny Granger. Wayne Ellington. Michael Red. I more so remember him from when he was on the Bucks, not the Suns, as it says there. Chris Humphreys, also former Celtic 2. 
Armand Johnson, and DeMar DeRozan. Very nice. So, nothing that jumped out to me there. I'm probably missing something, but I'll have to go back through after. 2016 Panini Contenders draft picks. Let's see what this has to offer here. Getting down to our final couple packs here. Al Farouk Amino season ticket card. Clay Thompson season ticket card. Oh, we got a hit here. I'm not even going to try to say that name, and I'm so, so sorry that I don't know who this person is, but regardless, that is another hit. We've got another autograph here. Georges, I, I, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to even attempt that. Uh, if anyone out there knows how to pronounce the name, I will look it up so I can not sound stupid every time when I go to show this card, so I apologize in advance, but another hit. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm, it's incredible, the luck that I've had in this. This is great. It's a college ticket one there. Deontay Davis. DeMontis Sabonis. He's turned out to be quite the young, or quite the great player um, for the Pacers team there. He's been very good. Collegiate Connections. Richardson. Marquise Chris. And another Chris Paul. That's our second Chris Paul old school colors, I believe, that we've gotten. We've got another one from an older pack, of course, but. And then we ended off with our final pack, the 2016-2017 Prestige. Let's take a look here. Six cards in this one. We've got Steph on the front. I can't be disappointed with anything. I've made out very well. I'm extremely happy with how things have gone. We've got a Jabari Parker. Vucevic. Jordan Clarkson. George Gervin, Prestigious Pioneers cool card and then a rookie gay to end or rookie gay i was thinking uh rudy sorry i saw a rookie card in the top right there but then we've got a rudy gay so that was the last pack i am going to just real quick show the hits that i had and then also the kobe card because that one means a lot to me so these were the hits that we had here jp takoto autograph I don't have enough stands. I know it's probably not going to stand, so I'll just cover up Zion for a second. Hopefully no one gets too upset there. An Alan Crabb autograph. An Amon Shumper autograph. I'm not going to try to pronounce his name autograph. And then a Zach Levine number card there. And, of course, as I had mentioned, plenty of PC hits, but the Kobe Bryant career tribute card. Well, I really hope you guys had a great time watching this. I had a lot of fun making this video. This was probably one of the best openings I've had, not even just so much from how many hits I had standpoint, but just overall enjoyment. I've got a lot of cards to go through. That is the beauty of what I think this collectible card club has to offer. They have a lot of different options. There are a variety of packs. You're going to get to look at different packs that probably you've never had the options to before. So I encourage everyone to check them out, especially after this pack open I had. It was a lot of fun. Most importantly, I hope you all enjoyed yourselves. Please Feel free to like, subscribe, comment below. I'll be back soon with another video. Stay safe. Take care. Thank you all so much.